some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Peabody, Massachusetts, with a massive crybaby frauditor known as Mass Accountability, known to others as PayPal Tommy. And the massive whiny crybaby frauditor demands the name and badge number of the officer, but he only gets the number. And the giant man baby decides to stand around and show his maturity level and constantly harasses the officer to try to get his name, but he never gets it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Officer Saya here is going to try to avoid me at all costs now, going back and forth in front of the vehicle. Some might call that pigaboo. Oh, that's real mature. A grown man playing that game with the police officer. Tell me, what is your highest level of education that you've got? Third grade? Sergeant, can I get your name, please? Mark tonight. What's your name? Get out of the road. Get What's your name? I'm not in the road. I'm behind. I'm behind the cone. I'm behind the cone. I'm behind your car. This is a safety area. Don't touch me. This is a safety area. You have no. Don't touch me. I need you out of the road. Don't fucking touch me, man. Get out of the road. Don't touch me. What are you fucking doing? What's your name? Thank What's you. your name? Well, now you definitely picked the wrong one today. And this lame brain moron is going to spend the next 15 minutes whining and crying about not getting his name. Oh, boo hoo hoo. Go do something important like finish elementary school. What's your name? What is 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 your name, Sergeant? Chapter 41, Section 98D. What is your name? Once again, a frauditor cites something he doesn't understand. Section 98D. Each city or town shall issue to every full-time police officer employed by it an identification card bearing the officer's photograph and identifying information. The Secretary of Public Safety and Security may adopt regulations relative to the form content and issuance of such identification cards and to the carrying therefore by municipal police officers such as identification card shall be carried on the officer's person and shall be exhibited upon lawful request for purposes of identification. Now a lawful request or order can be defined as such. A lawful order means any order, directive, policy, or instruction given by an authoritative source or given to ensure compliance with federal, state, or local law, which may be conveyed verbally or in written form. Now, are you a lawful or authoritative source? Or are you just some asshat off the street who is just trying to pretend he has authority where he has none? I would have to say it's the latter because you have not been given the legal authority over anybody. You are just some moron who needs to go back to school and learn civics. What is your name? What is your name? You just touched me. What is your name? I was behind the cone. The I was road. behind your car. Yeah, what is your name? What is your name? What is your name? Don't be a dick. What is your name? What is your name? If you think I'm leaving, I'm not leaving. You have no right to put your hands on me unless I'm fucking arrested or detained. I'm helping you out of the No, you're not helping me do. You have no right to touch me. You have no duty to protect me. You have no right to 
fucking touch me. Five, what is your name? Five, what is your five, name? Five, Sergeant, five, you have stripes on. What is your name? Uh, Frauder, I think you need to go get yourself checked out by a doctor of some sort because you're repeating yourself over and over again to ad nauseum. I mean, it sounds like you're actually reverting to the age of a third grader. Or has your mental age always been that of a third grader? Wouldn't surprise me one bit. Physical age of somebody in their 20s or above, and mental age of third grade or below. I see it a lot of frauditors. It's very much a common identifying trait among them. What is your name? Your name is not 529. Your name is not 529. You're gonna make me call down the station? You're gonna make me call down the station. What is your name? What is your name? Your name is not 529. What is your name? What's your name? You're really gonna make me call the station, huh? Please do. Here we go, another tyrant. Peabody Police Department, Massachusetts. Peabody Police Department, Massachusetts. Now this mental midget decides to call the police department and try to get his name, but it still doesn't work out. Uh, yes, I just had a uh, sergeant of the Peabody Police Department put his hands on me. He won't identify. His badge number is 529. I'd like his name, please. Where are you calling from? That doesn't matter. He put his hands on me. I need his name. Well, sir, I need to know where you are. I'm right in front of him right now, and he will not identify himself. That's it. I am downgrading you from a third grader to an infant. But at least an infant would have an excuse as to not understand the question right there because they can't talk. He wants to know your physical location, like the closest address or road or anything like that. He doesn't want to know how close you are to the officer. He wants the location of the road or address. You really are that stupid, aren't you? He's in an unlocked car, 3WEJ74. I need his name. His badge, he's only giving me his badge number, 529. I need his name. That should be sufficient. You have his badge number. No, that's not sufficient. No, that's not By policy in Massachusetts state law. No, his, I need his name as well. Sergeant what? Sergeant what? That is how it works. Chapter 41, section 98D is how it works. What's his name? You have his you guys are going to get a lot of phone calls because of this. You know that, right? Oh, wow. You continue to prove how smart you are. Threatening the police with call flooding. Oh, wow. You are really dumb. You know, that could lead to a high call volume that could wind up shutting down their system and making sure that people who actually need their help don't get it. So, anything that happens... Uh, during that time is on your head. And all this because you're whining and crying about him not giving you his name. What a little jackass you are. You have his no, what's his name? I need his name. What is his name? Let me speak to a let me speak to a supervisor. Hold on, I gotta put you on hold. Let me speak to a supervisor. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Sergeant Dickhead, what's your name? It's funny, he wasn't directing traffic till I walked up with the camera. Sitting in his car nice and toasty, not directing traffic. We were stuck in traffic. Very dangerous at this intersection. He wasn't doing his job until I walked up with the camera. Then he put his hands on me. He has no legal right to put his hands on me. I wasn't arrested, I wasn't detained. Oh, poor baby. Hello? Hello? Hi, your name please? 
Um, I'm not gonna give my name. Okay. Uh, uh, I, so I, I, I need a, I need the sergeant's name. His badge number is five two nine. Okay. And uh, when identified, you give either or. No, he you give both. You give both sir? name. No, well, actually, no, you give no. name. Actually, by Massachusetts state no, law, you have you to show me a police identification either. card. No. Chat. Not correct. Chapter 41, section 98D, police officers have to show a police identification card. Chapter 41, section 98D, look it up. You have to show a police identification card with your name, rank, ID, and what department you work for. Well, it's good that you can read, but your comprehension and ability to um, dissect statements like that is quite limited. But do you have any marketable skills that can get you an actual job rather than bothering the cops? Mr. 529. Can I help you with? What's your bat? What's your name? 529. Oh man. You guys are You're going to get some phone calls, brother. I'll be back. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Well, now there you have it, folks. If this guy were a autistic student, I would say he would have been perseverating for the past 15 or so minutes. Which is a repeated thought or action that autistic students go through. And in my time in education the past few years, I've seen this kind of perseverating before. So who knows? This guy might be on the spectrum. He really needs to go get himself checked out. Even if he's not, he still needs to go check be checked out by some mental health professional.